Uh, well, powers have been holding their last full day of talks with Iran's foreign minister to try and reach a deal over Tehran's nuclear program. Our diplomatic editor, James Bates, is in Lausanne, where those talks are taking place. And James, things are a little fraught now, to say the least, I think, but uh, that's really to be expected at this critical stage in the negotiations. Yes, exactly, Nick. I mean, these are controversial negotiations, they're complex negotiations, and they're negotiations which have literally been going on for years. We are here very much in the last lap, and if you're negotiating something very difficult like this, the bit that you leave to the end is the very toughest bit. So I think that's why we're seeing problems. We had a meeting earlier on with all of the countries that are negotiating with Iran, the P5 plus one countries, the five permanent members of the UN Security Council, Germany, all sitting on one side of the table and Iran on the other. Now, we don't have a proper readout of what happened at that meeting. No one is really telling us too much. I have to say, when I spoke earlier on very briefly to the Chinese foreign minister, he was somewhat positive. He said things were going uh, very well. But we heard after that meeting that the Russian foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, is considering leaving in the next few hours and then may come back here uh, on Tuesday. That tells me that he certainly thinks that there is not a deal right now ready to sign. As for the US, well, we caught up with the US Secretary of State John Kerry after he had lunch in a restaurant on the lakeside here. Secretary Kerry, good afternoon. Is it going well? Is it going well, Secretary Kerry? We're working very hard. Working hard. Yeah, James, everyone working very hard. Just going back to Sergei Lavrov, uh, the Russian foreign minister, uh, and considering leaving. Uh, do you think that's a, a reality or is, that, is he kind of playing his hand? Well, it's difficult to say and remember that although he is there with the P5 plus one, with all these international players, is he talking about leaving because he doesn't see anything coming anytime soon? Is he talking about leaving because that's what sometimes you do when you're in a high-stakes negotiation, you threaten to walk away? Or is there even some sort of problem between him and some of those that he's supposed to be on the same side of? One of the sticking points, we believe, is UN sanctions and how they would be removed. And we know the US have this idea of a new UN Security Council resolution with what they say are, and this is the phrase, snackback provisions. The idea being that you'd write this resolution saying we're lifting the sanctions, but if Iran was not going to comply automatically in this resolution, then the sanctions would come back. Now, Russia jealously guards its status as one of the five permanent members of the UN Security Council. It likes the Security Council, with Russia on it, to decide at every stage whether there should be action. So automatic action like that is something Russia, quite often we've seen at the Security Council, isn't in favour of. All right, all will become clearer at some point, James. Who knows when, but for the time being, thanks a lot.